robotics for this type of thing has only been FDA approved since 2008. At that, that time, the surgery was done on a robot that was designed for actually general surgery, intestinal surgery, and we adapted it to be used in the head and neck. But now, last Friday, it was the first time that we got a robot that was specifically designed for head and neck tumors. The procedure we performed was a robotic approach. So it's a minimally invasive surgery that allows us to remove the tonsil as well as the surrounding tissue in order to remove the cancer. So the technology is very interesting and, and exciting. It's called a single port robot. So it's designed for all of the surgical arms to be uh, delivered through a really small cylinder or port. And what that means is that it can easily, all those instruments can easily be fit in the mouth. The advantage of the robot is a lot of patients we, we can treat with just surgery alone now without a big open morbid surgery. And in the vast majority of our patients, they're able to get less radiation and usually avoid chemotherapy. What the new robot really allows us to do is just access that many more patients. It's much more facile to get in the mouth, to access the tongue. Um, and so it really expands the number of patients that are candidates for this. HPV-driven tumors are becoming more common in the head and neck area, and therefore our numbers of HPV-driven tumors are becoming more and more common, and we, we haven't seen a downtrend yet. It's becoming more and more common every year, and therefore our, these robotic procedures are becoming more common.